Hello, Mr. Heap here, and today I'm going to talk to you about using the command line. If you looked at the very top of the screen, there is something called the terminal or the command line. When I click on it, a little box will pop up. Now this is how they used to control the computers for doing just about everything. Now they use them for when you really want to uh, have direct access to the computer. Now there are some things on a Raspberry Pi, like taking screenshots, that can only be done through the command line. So we're going to learn some basic parts. So the first thing is if I type in ls, it gives me a list of all of these things. Now I'm going to open what you're used to seeing. So if I just open up my home folder, these are the names of all my files. So ls gives you the name of all of your file folders and the file in it. Notice that all of the folders are colored in blue uh, and our one file, our Python file, is in gray. Now um, that's great, but I want to make a file folder with my name on it. So to do that I say mkdir, which stands for make directory. And I'll say heap. And now when I type ls, you can see that heap is one of the files in my folder. And if you don't believe that that actually did anything, you click over here and there is a folder. Well, that's great. So mkdir makes it a folder, makes a directory. ls lists out all of the, the things in the directory. So now if I want to go to the file, if I do cd, that changes directory. If I go cd heap, all of a sudden if I hit ls, there's nothing in my folder. Uh, so it just doesn't print anything. So now you can see I'm at the Pi and it goes to the heave folder and when I did ls there's nothing in it. So let's make something in it. Let's make a directory. Now if I wanted to say chapter 1 like I normally there's a space and that would create two different files. One named chapter, one named 1. So if I want to do it right I'd say chapter 1 in quotes and now if I type ls, there it says chapter 1. And if we want to check to make sure it worked, heb, let's open it up. And it shouldn't take too long. Okay, there we go. And there's chapter 1 in there.